spin of this. Kim, are you going to do it? Are you going to drop shorthand? No, we're not going to do oh, shorthand. We are going to we are going to give people a choice. Shorthand is always well, same thing. Been absolutely essential. No, it's not quite the same thing. If you want a stellar career, if you want to be the next Phil Webster, then I would do shorthand. And ah. Courses will continue to teach shorthand. Now, if you think you want a different career and you want to go and be a social media journalist or do something completely different, and you're never going to be in a court of law, you're never going to be facing a politician, then maybe you can get through without shorthand right. and we'll help you get a qualification uh, without. Phil is shaking his head. I, I think you need shorthand, whatever form of journalist you are. You I, speak as an ace shorthand writer. Well, I... I, I no I, need to be modest. I was 160 words a minute oh, when I God joined sake. the Times back <laughs> in uh, 1973 and, and shorthand got me on the Times. I wouldn't have got that job. I was My first job was as a parliamentary reporter covering the proceedings of the Lords and Commons. And then I went on to have a nice career at the Times thereafter. But it was shorthand that started me off. 160. That yeah. is fast. I was taught by um, a, a wonderful guy who, um, who was in a prisoner of war camp in Japan. He had very good shorthand in any case. He kept sane in that prison camp by thinking up new, clever short forms to make his ah, Pitmans even quicker. Right. So I was taught a fairly fast form of Pitmans. Could you still do it? Yeah. Yeah, I... I some notes there. I, 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 I what, never, you got a note? Oh, yes, I see. I, yes, I, I, a I, was, I was watching uh, Clinton and Trump last night uh. and scrubbed, but I use it all the time. I use it for a shopping list. Good Lord. I use it for anything. Um, so what have you got there in front of you, then? You've got... Th a that's trans an, go that's, that's, that was Hillary Clinton talking on uh, television last night. Which, by a happy coincidence, I have. That is to say, a transcript of it, I have. You're going to catch me? Yeah, go on. Try it. Read, read, read a bit. Let's see. It may, may not... I, I have been a, a wife. Of... I have been a I, wife. Go, off you go. Right, go on. I have been a wife, a mother, a grandmother, a church goer for my entire life. I have been a woman. Yeah, yeah, no, that's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. No, no, word, word for word. Yeah. yeah. And uh, But you can't do 160 now. So. No, 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 but I can but still... That's not bad. I can still reach the heights. I can get 120, I should think. Oh, that was my maximum, 120. Yeah, Pittman's. But come on, Kim, you, you've now got to explain why anybody can manage as a journalist without it? Well, we've fought for years, actually, against quite a lot of opposition to keep shorthand. In fact, the last time we talked, I think, was about shorthand and why we were keeping That's it. Right, I forgot. Now, interestingly, I think the whole world of journalism is changing so quickly. Newspapers are in a state of terror about what the future is, and lots of journalists are now going in to do different things. They're working for new media organisations. They are not going out and doing some of the things journalists used to do. And our, our job at the, at the National Council for the Training of Journalists, it's all about standards. That's the only thing we care about. We need journalism to have certain standards. It's not a profession, it's a trade, but if people are going to trust what they read, what they watch, then there's got to be some standards behind it. Right. So we're not abandoning standards, but we are saying there are certain jobs in journalism that perhaps in the future you can do without shorthand. But, Phil, we have tape recorders now. When you and I started, we didn't. Yeah, at least not the little handy ones that you could just, you know. So doesn't that disqualify the need, uh, get rid of the need for... I don't think so. Machines go wrong. Mm. I did the interview with Tony Blair in 2006, which led oh, to when final, he said he was the final to... plot yeah, yeah, yeah. against him. Uh, and on the way back from Chequers, I was playing the tape. We did. I did have a backup tape on that occasion, playing the tape, and suddenly realised there was a huge gap in it. Oh. I went to my notebook... And every word I needed was there. I, I did a Humphreys and asked him ten times <laughs> whether he was about to um, uh, announce that he was going to stand down. And he said each time that he wasn't. Uh, that led to the plot by the Brown allies after that. Well, Without it, I couldn't have done it. There we are. We have to end it there. I wish we could go on. Philip Webster, Kim Fletcher, thank you both very much.